job. Get it, get it. While cleaning up this rat infestation, let's keep score and see which dog is the most valuable player for the day. Gypsy is my four-year-old Patterdale Terrier. Bindi is my two-year-old working bred American Pit Bull Terrier. Tag is my 11-month-old Drawhar Staghound Crossed. Oh, good job. <laughs> I've got it. Do you want to take it? Yeah. Oh, I gotta turn this on. So it can last on the team. Good dogs. Good job, Indy. Good girl. Good girl. Is it alive, you think? Yeah, it's alive. I'm not squishing it very hard. These don't look like any of the ones we lost. Good job, Gypsy. Good job. Oh, good job, Tag. Good job, Tag. Get it. Let's screw around. Kill it. Bindi got one. Bindi got one. Popped out of, uh, the cement pad. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I think it was that one and that one. I don't even think you hit that one. I'm not sure though. Oh, Good job. Like, for a minute, I was like, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's a it's rat. It's a huge, such filled rat. <laughs> I'm like, I've never seen that kind of creature Good before. Good girl. Good girl, that thing's huge. <laughs> it looks giant because it's covered in sun. Good girl, bandy dog. Good girl. I was like, that like, look, I don't know what Good that is. Good girl, yes. Bucket's over here. Bandy, look. Look, bucket. Yes, bucket, look. Look. Yes, bucket. Yes, yes, bucket. Yes, good girl. Yes, jeez. Oh, look, here comes another tags. Like, I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> oh, good dog. Good dog. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what that is. Bucket, good girl. Good girl. Bucket, bucket. Look, look, bucket. Yes. Bucket, yes, yes, good girl. That was hilarious. Yeah, I think I think these are all connected. Look, look, watch, watch. Yes, good girl. Oh, did you miss it? Oh no, you guys got snow. Maybe um, put some more water in there. Santa Claus beards now. <laughs> I don't know how she missed that. It was coming up. Oh, here we go. Good job, good job. Just as we were about to give up. And that's not the one that was coming up, I don't think. No, that wasn't. The other one was white. Oh, I'm glad we found a method. I don't have to sit down there. Good job, Gypsy. Good dogs, good dogs. I popped out of the hole right next to him. Tag! Where'd it go? It's in here somewhere. It's into these? It didn't go down a hole. It's one in one of these, you think? Yeah. Okay, out, tag. Okay. Bindi, watch. Good job, Gypsy. Good job, Bindi, being a team player. Good job. You trust them a little too much, but <laughs> <laughs> but I'd rather that than y'all go chase the same dumb rat. One thing you probably don't realize is how much time we sometimes spend digging up rats. Depending on the location, there are times when most of our day ratting is spent digging up rat burrows. In ratting locations where a lot of digging is necessary, I can't help but think there's got to be a better way of doing things. This has led me to want to try ratting with a badger. 
Badgers are absolute digging machines, and like mink, naturally feed on small to medium sized rodents in nature. Why I need to dig up the rat dens in the first place is if I just send a mink down a rat hole in a big rat infestation, then more often than not, the mink will kill a rat or two, and their dead bodies will then block the rest of the tunnel from the mink. Oftentimes, a significant pocket of live rats are left hiding behind the dead ones. Flooding rat burrows doesn't always work, as some soils drain too quickly. Because of this fact, we sometimes use soap to suds up the burrows. I very much dislike using soap suds because it can leave some soap residue in the soil. Also, just like flooding, soap doesn't always flush out all of the rats in certain situations. We also don't always have access to water for flooding, or the flooding can make a mess or create other problems. For these reasons, the best solution is to completely dig up the rat burrows when possible. Canines are clearly not made for digging. They have short, stubby little claws, and their forelegs aren't particularly strong. Digging with the shovel can help sometimes, but if the soil type is wrong, it can sometimes just lead to the burrow entrance collapsing, and we lose track of the tunnel we're trying to dig up. So I often end up on my hands and knees helping the dogs dig by hand in an effort to both speed up the digging process while trying to also avoid collapsing the burrow and losing track of the tunnel. But if we had a badger to dig up the tunnels, I feel like they would do a much better job at digging up the rats. Not only are badgers one of the most powerful digging animals in the world, but I also feel they must have a special scent detecting ability to help them better locate prey hidden underground. They are, after all, specialists at digging up prey from their burrows. Privately owning a badger is illegal where I live, or I would have gotten one years ago. So lately, I've been working to try and partner with a local zoo. That way I can finally have a trained badger to help us dig up all those rats in a much more effective manner. <laughs> Oh, good job, baby. Oh, good job, Tag. Good job. Tag, no, come back. Tag, come back. Tag, come here. Good girl. That one was high and dry. Yeah. Didn't have any soap or water or anything. Oh, here we go. Good dogs, they all could smell that was in there. They're like, there's something in here. Soap hasn't reached these guys. Good girl, baby dog. Tag, bring it. Bring it here. Tag, bring it here. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, look at this. Perfectly dry. The only wet on it is dog slobber. Oh, baby got one. Good girl. Good girl. Good dog. Okay. Ow. This one's wet though. Watch. Make sure we don't lose any more help. Hey, we're getting a full bucket. Good job, Tag. Good job. Get it. Good job, baby. Good job. Wow. Look at that. See, like that's the little dry spot they were sitting in. Oh, yeah. That one that Bindi got was dry. Remember when we first started lifting this and Bindi got one and Tag lost the other right here? I bet she was sitting in that little dry spot. Yeah, tag sniffing it. Good job, Bindi. 
Good job. Good job, baby girl. Good job. Randy, bring it here. Now bucket. Yes. 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 That's a good girl. Both got caught. Get them both. Good job. Yes. Good girl. Yeah, this is definitely more than we lost. We can comfortably say that. I love that. They were the both racks were right together and they they obviously caught their own rack. Yeah, they didn't go after the same one. Yeah. Good job, Andy. Good job. That was a sweet match. Nice snatch. Good girl. Nice snatch. Good girl. Good dog. Yes, that's a good dog. That was a sweet snatch. I just need to watch Bindi. <laughs> She's so good, man. Go, 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 Bindi! Good girl. She like girl. runs forward and then like lunges. Dude, she's got them all. When's the last time another dog's caught one? <laughs> it's been a while, oh, but... Oh, when there was two. <laughs> <laughs> that way Gypsy got one and Bindi got one. Good girl. good girl, Tag. Good girl. She saw the foam. Bindi, Tag went after the flying foam. That's a good girl. Yes. That's a good girl. Good job, Tag. That was the right thing to do because sometimes those foam is those flying pieces of foam are wrapped. <laughs> the, the wind blew the foam, which is good because the last time she saw a foamy rat, she just watched it walk away. Good girl, Gypsy. Finally, someone other than Bindi got one. Good girl, Gypsy dog. Good girl, Gypsy dog. Good girl. Did you see where that one came from? I didn't. I was watching Bindi. That's <laughs> the one to watch. Good girl, out, Gypsy. Oh, what sick good dogs you got. What good dogs you got. Bindi wins with a total of 17 rats. What an amazing job. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. YouTube has been tightening down on their censorship. I in fact just barely got a strike for a video that I thought was totally fine. But nope, they gave me a strike, took it down, and you guys are never gonna see it. So what happens to that and many other videos that I already know are gonna get a strike so I don't even try and put up on YouTube? Well, they go on my Mink Man's exclusive club. This club allows me to show videos that I never could show on YouTube. So if you guys feel like you're missing out seeing these little clips, well, you really are. I'll post whatever I can here on YouTube, but the rest is gonna be going to my exclusive club. So just click on the link in the description below and find out what you're missing.